All right, I am full blast. How do I sound? Check one, two, three. Hey, what's up? I'm very excited about today's episode because I am finally gonna get to show you what I have been working on for so long to try and get my in-flight audio to sound as good as possible. Now, when I'm up there and I'm not giving it full power, pretty much any microphone's gonna be good. But when you are running full blast, the paramotor is just overpowering. And I have tried several different microphones, several different settings. Each time I got a little bit closer and a little bit closer, well, I finally got to a point where I'm really happy with it. So we want the signal, which is my voice, to be real high. We want it to be real good. And we want the noise, the paramotor on the back, to be really low. So the signal to noise ratio, we want to be really high. So I can give you an example of the signal to noise ratio. Let's take a look at what we call the VU meters or the volume unit meters. And what this is, this shows you how loud audio is. Here is the signal part, my voice, on the VU meter. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Okay, and now here is the noise on the VU meter. As you can see, they're not very different. They're pretty close together and we do not want that. We want there to be a large difference between the two. So now let's take a look at the signal to noise ratio on my new audio setup. So first of all, here is the signal, what we want, my voice, on the VU meter. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Okay, and now let's have a look at when I'm not speaking, just the noise from the paramotor. Let's see where that is. All right, so let's put these two side by side. Look at the difference. Look at how much louder the noise is, the paramotor noise is on the old setup. So this is what has got me really excited. And this is how I did it. So first of all, we gotta get the microphone right. I found this when researching motorcycle vlog helmets and audio setups and that kind of thing. And I found a guy who found this and he wasn't actually thrilled with it because he wanted to hear some motorcycle noise. And he said, you know, this isn't that great because you can't really hear motorcycle noise. And I'm like, well, let me try it. Let me see if I can not hear the paramotor noise. Uh, unfortunately, the paramotor is much louder than a motorcycle. And so you're still able to hear paramotor, but it's a whole lot less. This does do a really good job of burying any background noise. Anything that is not right there at the microphone drops off really fast and I absolutely love that. So let me show it to you on my helmet itself. And uh, you know, the bad news about this is, look at here, look, that is like a ton of audio mic cable. And, uh, you know, right now I've just <laughs> gorilla taped this thing on here and clearly it's fine. It's doing a good job of holding it, but it really looks horrible. So I'm going to have to work on this. So I do want to show you this here. This is kind of where the magic happens. It is battery powered and it does take a little tiny battery. I know you're thinking uh, more batteries to deal with, but let me tell you, this is these little bitty LR44 batteries. And I bought like a 40 pack on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So they're super cheap. They're very disposable. Just use it for a few flights, throw it out, get a new one. You're good to go. You do have to remember to turn it on. If you don't turn it on, you get nothing. Uh, there is no light to indicate you turned it on. So you have to be real careful and real deliberate when you uh, go to put on your headset and all that good stuff. You need to make sure that's turned on. So yeah, other than having like 20 feet of cord, uh, you know, I got no problems with this uh, mic at all. So now let's take a look at the other part of this audio sweetening that makes it sound so good. And this is software based. This is in Final Cut Pro 10 and you need to have at least version 10.6.2 and it is called 
voice isolation. You'll find that in the audio section here. It does an amazing job of finding the voice and bringing that out while seriously bringing down any kind of background noise like, well, a paramotor. Let's have a look and see how it works. Bam, look at that. Look at the difference. Look now, this is the paramotor noise. And now you can see how much more my voice pops out. Let's listen. I'm crabbing big time. So that just shows how good this software works in Final Cut Pro. Now, if you don't have Final Cut Pro 10, there are other options. And one of the things I was using before voice isolation was Bruce Free from Clevger. <laughs> I don't know, I think they're from Sweden. I didn't name it, I don't know, but this thing worked really good. So if you don't have Final Cut Pro 10, then there are other things, including this. For 60 bucks, I was very impressed with it. It doesn't work quite as good as voice isolation, but it will definitely bring down some of that paramotor noise. So there it is, that's my magic formula for getting good quality audio while in the air, while the paramotor is going full blast. And I just wanted to share it with any of you who want to improve your audio uh, while on board flying around like a crazy person. If this has been helpful at all, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And I'm real excited for future episodes where you'll be able to hear me much better. And I think that's just really gonna make it more of a pleasant video. And speaking of next videos, you're really gonna wanna watch the next one. I had an outstanding flight. It was great until I had a little explosion on my paramotor and something fell off and hit the prop. What's that? I wanna share that with you, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you know when that video premieres, you'll get to watch it right away. Till next time, see ya.